Hello everyone, welcome to SAP Top Notch. Today's topic is physical inventory cycle count. Uh, there are not many videos available on this topic, so I thought of making one video on this. Let's quickly run through the details of it. So as a cycle counting flow, we need to uh, you know set up a master data. Then we'll quickly go through the ABC analysis based on consumption and the requirements. There are certain criteria on which PI document is created. We'll run through it. Then we schedule one background job and based on the result of the background job, we will create one printout, enter the document and post the document. Okay. So normally every topic need detailed discussion, but in this particular video, we'll keep it short. In coming videos, we will, you know, detailed discussion can be done. So in the material master MM02, if you go to the plant and data storage location view, you're able to see CC physical inventory indicator. Here you can set your ABC indicator. Beside that, you are able to see CC fixed. If you tick this particular checkbox, what will happen is this A indicator will be fixed irrespective of material consumption value or the requirement value. So this has uh, significance in terms of, you know, fixing the material to ABC cycle count. Okay, now ABC analysis for the cycle count. MIBC is the transaction which can be used for this particular process. In this process, you are able to see all materials held in stock. If you take this indicator here, so system will consider all the material for which ABC indicator is set and also ABC indicator not set for the material. So it will consider all the material which are defined for the inventory management. Then in consumption user and the requirement, you can simply put the period for which you want to do the ABC analysis. In my case, I have taken consumption usage for three months period. As a result, you are able to see to my left all the material codes. Then what is the new CC suggested? So this is the new CC suggested. These are the old values. And this CC indicator is suggested based on the consumption value of the three months. So if I save this, the new CC indicators will be saved in the material master. Okay, to quote an example, I have taken certain materials and I, as an example and then you are able to see what is the CC indicator already set up in the material master for those materials. After that, a PI document, so combined PI document. So any document which is created as a part of physical inventory document has certain criteria like what is the storage location, what is the CC indicator set in the material master, whether inventory count date is already available or a material creation date system will consider to create the PI document. So this is very important criteria over here. Then in the background job, you can simply go into MIC and transaction. Okay. And using your job like CC underscore testing, you can schedule on background job for the given program. And once you schedule the program for daily, weekly, fortnightly, based on whatever the frequency you required, you will get the output. So once your job is finished, all the documents will be created in the background itself. To view those documents, you can go into the print transaction MI21, print those document, and this document can be taken as a reference to, you know, go into the shop floor and take the physical inventory available. Okay, to view all the documents, you can use the transaction codes MI24, physical inventory document items. You can have different selection criteria like material, plant, storage, location, then your count date, plan count date. So based on your requirement, put those selection parameters here and execute it and you will find the result. So based on the selection criteria, I am able to get this result to my left. All the documents I enlisted, the material codes the storage location and the status whether the document is counted not counted partially counted you are able to see the details over here as an example i have shown you some of the status like counted not counted okay so in this example i have taken certain material like this one then 135 136 140 141 all these are not counted so now when I enter the count 
and do the subsequent counting you are able to see the status is changed counted and adjusted okay so here the important criteria is within this transaction you can enter the count you can change the count and you can post the difference simply you have to tick what documents you want to select if you want to enter the count go into enter count system will allow you to put the count if you want to change it change it if you want to post it post it so once you post the difference you are able to see all these documents now got the status as counted okay so this is the cycle which need to be performed as a part of cycle counting now uh, our next video we might you know go into more details of every process so that you will you know create your understanding in a better way so thanks for watching please please subscribe my channel so that you will be more familiar with this processes thank you very much